Hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. That was so, I, I'm going to leave that in there because that was kind of funny. I don't, I don't know how that came out like that. I got candy stuck in my teeth. I hope you can hear me. It's raining and it's going to be crap if I go back and edit this video and you can't hear me. <laughs> but welcome back. I am outside of a hotel I am fixing to interview with and I came early because I was going by Arkansas time which is two hours ahead of Arizona and I was going by the time that is in my car instead of the time that's accurate on my phone. I can't find my tripod, it's in the car somewhere and so I'm holding the phone with my hand. I got it propped up against the steering wheel. I'm going to update you since I've been here. I got here Sunday morning and as you know, when I stayed at a hotel, did a video. That night I had a visit and I had what I felt was a room full. I wasn't afraid, but um, I don't know how I felt. It was, uh, I just knew it was a room full of pe uh, people, beings, and I think they were powerful and new because I, I just had a different sense about them. And I didn't want to look around or anything. I was tired. I think I had body vibrations that night too. Last night I had a visit and I don't, I, I won't say it in order that it occurred because I don't remember because I was waking up and going to sleep through these visits all night. I woke up once, my uh, ears were ringing extremely loud again and now I, I fully trust them. They're not going to hurt my hearing any and you know I when it was so, when it gets so loud I have a fear of like my eardrums busting or something and being in pain but that's not going to happen they're not going to do that to me I went back to sleep and I woke up again to body vibrations again oh then I woke up looked toward the foot of the bed I guess it doesn't matter where I'm at they always appear there I saw a black TV static energy being zoom out of the room real quick when I made uh, eye contact with it and that happened twice and the second time or first time when I seen it leave I saw a head it was a transparent head and I could see the outline of it the eyes everything and it was just sitting there look or standing there looking at me I didn't see its body but I think I know what being it was I think it was one of my guides that I haven't seen yet he, and I'm going to put a picture of my guides in this video. And I think he's reptilian. I Something tells me he's not, but he looks like it in the picture. Now I'm going to say, and if you've watched my videos, you know that um, I know that this drawing is accurate. A psychic medium did it for me. I already seen two, possibly three of the beings that she drew, which are my guides. I seen them before she drew it, and then I seen two to three more after she drew it. So I think my uh, one I saw the head was in it. And you'll see it, it's in the top row. When you're looking at it, it'll be far right. He's blue, he looks reptilian. That was interesting. I, I don't know if more happened or not. I'm sorry if you're just getting a head shot. I'm still, ugh, I'm trying to angle it back down. I, that's about it on that visit last night. I feel like, oh, I wanna also add, I asked him to help me adjust the vibrations that I was not handling very well because it was so high and so much, I could hear it vibrate through the mattress I was laying on. You could see my, my some of my stuff in the back seat <laughs> they have they've apparently adjusted it or me my vibrations are me because now I'm I'm fine I got this beads I can't remember what stone this is because I had to go to a crystal shop and ask what can I use to even this out and I think with the, the black labradite what they told me to use I think the combination of that and my guides helping me is what made me adjust to the vibrations and, and they tend I guess they worked on me while I was sleeping 
other than that, my visit in Sedona is still awesome. It's still beautiful. I don't want to leave. I'm hoping, I got two interviews today and I'm hoping I get a job with one of them. I'm so excited about that. I don't want to go back to Arkansas because I like it here. It, it's been calling to me. I don't. I want to stay. I need to stay. I'm going to print some business cards and flyers describing um, my intuitive reading, my channeling, my uh, healing, and my uh, hypnosis. So I hope that I could do that on the side until it takes off you know big enough where I can just strictly do that I think tourist season starts here in a month or two so that would help apparently or, or I hope whatever I hope you guys are doing well I still hope you can hear me because this is the second time I had to do this video the first time I didn't like it too much this time it's raining and on top of that an emergency alert came through the phone and had to start the video where I ha it had ended or it cut it off, whatever. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna try to still do a video every day if I can. Cause so far I have stuff to say. So, I drive around and look at the mountains quite a bit. It's so, so pretty. I drove to um, Cottonwood, Arizona, which is like 20 minutes away and it is beautiful too. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys are doing well. I love you all, love you all. I'm sending you love, light, and peace.